Shit, here we go. It's Nush versus Killeers. It's a best of five in day one of the Salt Mine 4 qualifier. Both of these players, I don't think, have played any Salt Mine 4 up until this point. It is the final time that they can qualify for the Salt Mine. And they've found themselves in the same bracket. Now, Nush has what I would say is a good reason that he has not tried to qualify for any of the previous qualifiers. And that is that he was not old enough. He was 14. You have to be 15 to play in Salt Mine. Uh, why it's not the RLCS rules of 13, I, I don't really know. But apparently it's 15 years old. And Nush was 14. He just recently turned 15 last week. I think maybe the day of the qualifier or the day after the first day. Basically, he couldn't quite play in it. But he can now. So he's signed up to try and qualify. And I think he's definitely somebody who you'd expect to be in the top eight. But unfortunately for him, on the other side of the field, is a guy who might have been able to you know, make it all the way through if he had been playing from the beginning, which is Killeers. And he has decided to play the final qualifier for Salt Mine 4. So now we have ourselves a nice best of five. Killeers, the number one striker over there in Mina against Nush. One of the better 1v1 players. It's hard to say whether or not he's the best, but I think we could say probably pretty comfortably that he's not. I think Shadi and Rawas uh, at least going to be considered ahead of him. I know they got to play qualifiers when Nush didn't. Maybe Nush will go all the way through to the upper bracket and show that he is, you know, as good as the rest or maybe even better, but we'll have to wait and see. And this is not a bad first test here in the Salt Mine against Mr. Killiers. It's also the first best of five in this round. This whole pool is the pool of death because on the other side, it's got Gazi, who also could technically be ahead of Nush in 1v1 ability. He did beat him in Champions Road, but I think historically Nush has had more wins. And there's also Smashy in this pool. Smashy, Gazi, Killeers, Nush. I mean, this is people who, especially late in the qualifiers, could all be in the top eight. And yet they're all in one pool, so only one of them can advance. And Nush is trying to make it him. He's, as you can tell, he's in the lobby as I'm nobody, buddy. But it is indeed Nush, believe it or not. A couple of the other pools are kind of tough, but I think, I think Killier's Nush, uh, Gazi, and Smashy. I mean, this is a really, really tough pool considering only one of them get to move on and represent pool four in the double limb portion that will be tomorrow. Nush is showing off his offense right now. To be fair, I've always felt like Kadiris is a high-level ones player. We don't see him play as much as Rewas, but when he has played, he has shown to be like at least around the level that Nush is at. But the chat predicted heavily in favor of Nush. I might have slightly biased it away from Nush when I saw just how heavily they were doing it. But it did ultimately finish in favor of Nush, who's technically the lower seed, which means he's rated lower than Kadiris on the leaderboard, um, which surprises me a little bit. Because I thought Nush was pretty high. Killeers stays up in the 30-ish range, if I had to guess, just off the top of my head. Uh, but I often see Nush ahead of that. He's seated lower. And now, he's up 6-1 against Killeers. Chat is saying overlay. And, oh, I see why. It's game one. It's game one. Nush is not up 2-0. We are just at the beginning. Nush gonna make it 7-2. Foreshadowing perhaps? I mean, Nush certainly is on track to win this first game as he welcomes Killeers to the 1v1 world. But they're both kind of getting welcomed at the same time because of the age restriction on Nush. Nush not going to allow Killeers a setup on the sidewall. Instead, Killeers will have to play from the midfield. And he has yet to find some consistent offense against the rookie. Who is now looking for a backboard double tough angle. It doesn't go in. But if they continue to play this midfield game, it's going to heavily favor Nush, who takes an awkward angle at the save. By the way, Nush has a YouTube channel. And we watched his... Um, his one video, which is a montage. I highly recommend checking it out. And know that it's got some serious rap on it and all of it is very copywritten. So you won't see it 
showing up on YouTube. And if his YouTube wasn't brand new, he'd be getting slapped with the no monetization symbol for sure, like 10 times over. But, you know, I guess when your channel is brand new, you don't have to worry about that as much. You'll have to worry about it someday because surely you're going to about to go subscribe to him and give him one more subscriber. I think you need a thousand before you get into the YouTube partner program. They might have made it lower since I did it. I'm not sure. Killer is missing his wave dash to start a possession off the back wall. Can't find the channel. Anybody have the link? Nush has the best montage I've seen in RL. There, you heard it here first. The chat, who I did not pay to say that, agreeing with me that the Nush montage is worth checking out. Nush, nice reset top right. I did not create this lobby, so I can't do anything about the score. But as you can see, I'm I'm thinking it's around forfeit range. With six and a minute left to go. TRK is not playing the quals. Hey Fear, what's up? Are you a Sonic fan? If so, that makes me very happy. I don't know, chat. Am I a Sonic fan? If only there was some way for the chat to try and prove that I once played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle when I was a child. Killers. Gonna get a third. Don't you think it's unfair of Fear to pay chat? Fear pays chat to say nice things about him, but doesn't pay his mods. Who says I don't pay the mods? Fear is old enough he played Sonic in black and white. <laughs> I don't think Sonic ever existed in black and white. Sonic or Shadow? I feel like I have to pick Shadow because the Shadow TTS is so funny. Okay, there's his guy's offense going, which is a good sign for the next game. I don't think he's scoring four in 17 seconds here. But he has shown signs of life. Nush. Maybe just trying to pad the montage now. As he leans back for a double reset across the whole field, Killier says, uh-uh, I'm not going in the montage. Send that one away. And to the ground, game number one goes to Nush. Is Killier's first Killier's? No, he's not. He's just Killier's. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And if you made it this far in the video, you probably enjoy it. So please subscribe. Game number two. Nush and Killiers. Killiers cleaning up his act in the final minute of the previous game. He's going to put on a soft flick. Nush actually gets forced into net, though. It almost seems like he wants to defend from there. As he, he instead of leaving, drove into the side wall and just started to go back and forth there, waiting for his chance to challenge. I think it's important to hit reverse and drive over and over and over to kind of make sure you don't slide down off the wall. I think if you do nothing and sit there, you will slide down. As long as you stay moving, you'll be okay. Nush, awkward. A really slow half flip as he tried to get back to stop this dribble and Killiers able to score. Hug at the midfield, results in the ball. Back into Kaliers' half. Kaliers is the one to grab the 100, and he is rewarded with a goal. Oftentimes, chasing down boost together is an all-in play from both sides. And whoever's the one to win it is immediately rewarded. Kaliers is the best striker in Mina finding a little bit of his offense now. Nush is going to drop the nice one. And how can you not? This first touch after the flip is away from the net. But a couple more plus a reset is able to bring it right to the top shelf. And Nush has got nothing to say but nice one.
Killiers. Denied by Nush at the midfield, but possession has been his mostly. This was a bad challenge. It's kind of a heat check challenge, I would say, from Killiers. He's been doing so well that he's just thinking, oh, I'll just stay on the ball. Everything's going my way. Forgotten that Nush is still a quick player, more than capable of getting to that ball first and taking it in for a goal. We were watching Diaz for the most part. We might go back to watching Diaz after this round, but it sounds like Firewall is going to be joining the games as well. So if you were here for Diaz games, Firewall should have them. They're just going to launch the musty in top shelf. We got ourselves the Nush Killiers game. Shido lost. That's too bad. There's a decent amount of good people in his bracket, though. Hopefully, Shido continues to level up his ones game and doesn't just go down as the guy who beat Rawas one time in that best of one or best of a or single elimination bracket, I should say. I think what we saw from him was pretty pretty exciting. Nush is uh, not going to try and rush a play when Killiers refuses to make a move on the goal line. He will just bring it to the ground after many fakes. To be fair, Nush is responsible for Killiers just staying patiently on the goal line. And now Killiers knew this bounce was far away from the net. He takes it center field as well. So it's going to be a really hard transition off the back wall from Nush to get there. And he ends up missing. Slightly faked. You know, maybe he took a good angle if Killiers was going to stay on the ball, but Killiers backed off and then took his open net. Nush gets a demo. And we'll see if he's going to add to the montage. No, Killiers is not going to let him go into ceiling heights to not get clipped on. Probably a good idea, but he recovers with zero boost and Nush is able to pop it over the top of him. I can't believe Killiers is still getting the pass of the controller to Rawas comparisons. Killiers could win Mina MVP, which I think he has before. He could win tournament MVP. He could win a Salt Mine Ones tournament. And I think still someone in chat when he does something good would say he gave the controller to Rawas. Killiers, ooh, steal on the corner boost and almost not getting this goal as Nush recovers on zero boost. I want to watch it again. Ooh, he flipped the wrong way. I think if he flipped correctly, he might have saved it. Nush bumping Killiers, even though Killiers wins the race to the kickoff. Or sorry, a oh, race to the midfield boost big time. He lost the ball in the blue half. And Nush, especially when you watch from his POV, just kind of hiding there. Going to bump it. Fear really gave the microphone to Johnny. <laughs> oh, Fear gave the mic to Baby Fear. That's why he was able to commentate that one shot so well. Nush. Full field air dribble, what a shot. Little wave dash catch. Killiers was actually there. He didn't creep too far out of the near post. But still just a little bit too much. As, yeah, he, he, I mean, just an inch too far for that backflip to be able to stop it. Nush. Ceiling resets, fakes the musty, fakes the dash, and fakes scoring the goal as it bounces off the backboard. Killiers hooking this, and I don't really know if there's a scoring chance on Nush's back wall there. And staying up there almost got him in trouble. Nush <laughs> using a dash on the ball to pop it off the wall. Moxie did that famously in Salt Mine last week. 
was it on the rebels a couple days ago either way no trying it a little bit higher it's not gonna work and now he's down to seven six he had a great game one but really it was just the first few minutes he got a big enough lead to be comfortable since then it's been fairly equal killers putting it on a platter for mr montage but he's not able to find much of anything and it'll be a counterattack instead that's one of the least effective Nush air dribbles we've seen. I thought it was on the platter, but I'm sure Nush would agree based on what he was able to get out of it. Delay kickoff for a wave dash. It doesn't work. Killiers puts the score up even more. Six to nine with 47 seconds. The kickoff mix up. Maybe not a bad idea. Maybe a bit. More volatility with it, but the volatility goes the wrong way for Nush, who's got the lean back, the fake, and the low 50. Killiers sees the potential musty, and then Nush actually front flips through the ball. Not often do you see people reverse the way they're flipping like that. Killiers going to dunk this right up the top. He seems to have a good read on the delay kickoff from Nush. Nush all in. On that attempt to bump Killiers, I guess. Didn't connect. 30 seconds. Still a three-goal lead. Still heavily Killiers favorite. Interesting. No flip from Nush. It's a slight delay. Or, or no speed flip, I should say. Sometimes players will do that as an intentional slight delay. Very natural way to do it. As opposed to trying to hit the brakes at any point. Nush is able to roll one in, though. So with 14 seconds, it's not impossible. Nas did that? I remember Moxie came into chat and said, do you see that new mechanic I hit? Ooh, what a save from Killiers. Nush agrees. And even though that's not on target, Killiers didn't need a goal, so it's not a big deal. Game number two, gonna go to Killiers. 10-8. We're all knotted up for game number three. Who the heck is trying to take my sweet new mechanic? Yeah, somebody in chat was saying it was Nass's. Nush getting faked to open game number three. Killiers gets the reset. I mean, Nush, wow. It seems like he kind of mis-angled his jump either way. I think even if Killiers touched that, he was almost overshooting it. Killiers, nice pre-flip to catch this ball before it hits the ground and put it on target after the kickoff win. These two hugging. Killiers gets out from underneath and needs a perfectly canceled flip to get that shot on, but light work for Killiers. Killiers staring at an open net and will score it. 20 seconds in, already a three goal lead. There's fakes that he's taking that ball back to the corner. That's pretty impressive. You could think that Nush was creeping up because he thought Killiers was going to reset the play. But Killiers wave dashes as if he's going to chip the ball. Goes directly underneath it instead. And then turns around 180 and shoots on an open net. Nush finally able to stop it this time. And slow the bleeding here in what is already a pretty... Decent sized deficit before the 30 second mark. Make it 4 0. It looks like the pendulum is swinging all the way into Killiers' direction. This is starting to look like he's in trouble. He says he's nobody buddy, according to his Steam name. But I'm sure he doesn't want to prove that to be true here in this game. Nush recovering over the top of the ball. Killiers saving that flip intentionally pre-flipping around the right side to try and tap it into that left post. Nush makes the save. Follow-up shot. He might have helped dunk it in. It's crossbar down and in. 
Killiers is putting on a clinic. Sub button down in the bottom right. Oh, what is Nish doing? Is he freestyling up the sidewall or is it all accidental? It's a ground double and he's in for his first goal. The good news, after scoring one, he's got three minutes and 30 seconds. Killers thought for sure a high air dribble. Instead, Nush takes it down to the ground and goes for the ground double. Nush getting the ball stolen clean away from him. Nush and his ball security. Hasn't been at the highest. Kickoff goal shows signs of life, but no reason to believe he's really bringing it back until he's able to string a couple defensive stops together. Because so far, Mr. Kaleers has been able to get just about whatever he wants. Killiers ceiling pinch. It's in. Doesn't need any follow-up. Nush lost the kickoff. And Killiers able to keep it away from him. Even at ceiling heights. Nush trying to do the same thing back to Killiers. But not nearly as effectively. Still three minutes, which is what's crazy. This has just been insanely high scoring, but nothing has worked for Nush. Does he have any saves? He's gonna go next. He has three saves, technically. Uh, yeah, you gotta leave. I don't have admin. So we have to leave when you forfeits. Game number three, going to Mr. Killiers. Game number four, Nush and Killiers. Nush is gonna need a big change of pace. He got an effective timeout here when he forfeited the last game and we needed to get the next lobby set up. Will that be enough? Or is Killiers going to go immediately right back up? He doesn't quite have enough boost to get to this ball before the bounce. He has to wait it out, but it doesn't matter, man. Nush still doesn't have the recovery. Nush. Yeah, just went about as quick as he could after losing that challenge. Killiers gonna make it 2-0. Killiers going crazy right now. The chat favored Nush as they had seen him play a lot more 1v1 recently. And it seemed like they were onto something in game number one. But it has been an utter smackdown as the series has progressed. Pro progressed. Progressed it did 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 did. There we go, Nush on the board. And he's on the board much sooner than in previous games. Sidewall air drill. I think we need to see this end in a pretty solid shot for Nush's chances. I would consider that pretty solid. I was going to let, you know, a good shot that at least forced Killiers into net on the save. That would be considered good enough for me. But I think a little wave dash, or not a wave dash, but a musty in the top left. That'll do as well. Jaleer's camera check as he wants to swing around the ball at the midfield. Knows he has more boost than Mr. Nush, but couldn't get underneath this ball, so he lost his dribble. Nush gonna go right back the other way, attack as quickly as possible on his low boost defender, and Jaleer still makes the save, but should have a really slow recovery because that's the last bit of what he had to make that save. And yeah, he cannot land and get back anywhere close to in time. Nush back in the lead. Maybe for the first time since game one that he won. He sees himself 
an open space in that far left side of the net. Seems like he was going to think about bounce dribbling to try and hook shot, but once he saw the way Kalir is just pulled so far out of net, he's like, oh, okay, I'll just, I'll just front flip the ball directly towards the net, and that'll do just fine. They're just going to make it 5-2. Killeer is really aggressive. Going in for a challenge in the back corner. The flaw is when players boost on kickoff, the player total boost in the bottom left doesn't change. The bottom left doesn't have boost. Are you talking about their speed? Or are you talking about the bottom right? All right, let's watch it. You're talking about something on the kickoffs. I am watching the overlay. Everything, everything seemed to react. I don't know if you found a bug or not. From my POV, you did not find a bug. Oh yeah, it doesn't change. The total boost didn't change. Maybe I'm looking at, I, I have my overlay and then there's the OBS overlay. Maybe I need to look at the OBS one. That's the one you guys see. There's also one on my screen just to help me commentate. That one seemed fine. I don't know what you guys are talking about. The boost spent. Oh. Okay, you're talking about the little number that's going up over the whole boost all game. Okay, I see, I see what you're looking at now. And it doesn't go up on kickoff is what you're saying. Does it like not go up unless the clock is ticking down or something? This is very interesting. Certainly everything else in the game going on is not that exciting. Okay, I'm locked into what you're locked into. It's in the player card, the bottom left. It's the number that says 1462. Oh my goodness, it didn't go up. And now is it gonna go up now that, okay, it doesn't seem to go up until the timer starts ticking down. Interesting, interesting discovery. Why was someone in chat watching that is the question. Thank you. Ooh, almost a ground double. The basketball double, as it seems people are referring to. Nush sends this one sky high. Quality assurance dev. <laughs> Here at Fear Corporation, we really pride ourselves in quality assurance. And that's why that one chatter is just staring at the boost like it's the only thing that matters. We appreciate him. Lush just gave a freebie. A minute 17, two goals, very doable. Feature not a bug. Ah, yes, see? We didn't want to count the boost on kickoff. Maybe it only counts boost that you pick up and not boost that, like boost you pick up and use and not boost you start with. And is that something you'd want to track? No, because you pick up boost here and it still doesn't start until, until like the ball is touched. Interesting, it like turns on maybe either when the ball is touched or when the clock starts ticking down. It doesn't count after demo. Maybe there's like a ball live, like variable, which doesn't exist. Um, interesting, after a demo though, I don't know, there's no point in trying to figure it out. I'm sure the guy who made the overlay knows as soon as you tell him what's happening. What? Someone's cooking the books. Nose tries to bump Killers twice and then he says, screw it! I'd rather score on myself than watch you score. <laughs> I would rather score on myself. I mean, he was going to be a bit in trouble, I guess. He tried to go like pre-flip through the ball, maybe, and t hit it with the tail end of his car or something. Report Nush for match throwing.
You need to write a script that pulls the boost at 10 hertz frequency and gives us the instantaneous amount. I, I think we're going to be okay. Ooh, what a hook shot from Killiers. 8-7, 38 seconds. Nailbiter. Killiers two goals away from closing it out without game five. Yush had been winning the majority of the game. Killiers double jump bump. No, double jump over the top of Nush. Nush recovers back down to slam it away. Now Killiers 50. Wave dash? No, he didn't wave dash. He came reversing. I don't know if he had a reset. He could have wave dash forward. Nush bumped into net. He's going to reverse wave dash. Try and tap this ball away. Killiers pops it up. Nush should be able to get to the ball. He sends it soaring, and that is going to hit ground, and we have ourselves game five. Nush Killiers, game five, winner advances. This is not even a qualifying game. They have another game to play after this one. And it's in a tough bracket. They could both be losing to Ghazi or both be losing to Smashy. I'm not sure who else is coming from the other side of the bracket. But first, they must get through each other. I do think that these two are the favorites to advance, though, despite the other two being very talented. Nush. Oh, he thought Killiers was going to pre-jump. And now he's just... He, he, he's frozen because he looks silly. I think he was trying to play one step ahead. Like, oh, Killiers knows I'm good. He's going to go high. He's going to try and stop a high shot. I'm going to make him look silly by just rolling one low while he pre-jumps. And uh, instead, Killiers just stays on the ground and makes the easiest save of all time. And gets the easiest counterattack of all time. Or Nush just missed his shot mechanically, but I really don't think so. It seemed like a pretty intentional setup to keep the ball grounded. Nush. Did he get the reset? He did. Such a soft reset grab. He's demoed. Long shot is in. First goal for Nush, two straight for Killiers. As these guys try and make the spiciest game five they can, Killiers gonna get the reset at ceiling heights, and Nush is gonna try and wait to make the save as late as possible. And it results in him not making a save at all. He did not want to get faked, and he just creeped a bit too far out. Lots of games going on. So Jack and Tho got sweaty, but Jack ultimately won. And Diaz is having a tough time in his game. I'm assuming Firewall has that. And now Nush losing to Killiers, but within one. A lot of interesting games going on in the salt mine world right now. What's the timer? Wow. Thanks for asking. Completely unpaid chatter. The timer is for the 9 to 5 a-thon we're doing here on stream. Which is, we will be live streaming as long as people continue to sub Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. Why not a full-on sub-a-thon, you might ask? Woo! Because Nush didn't want us to. And Nush can decide when he's hitting shots like this. But the real reason is because we have the fear melee who needs us. And because we quit our other 9 to 5 for this job. No King of the Hill today. We might not have King of the Hill this week. We, it'll be back in future weeks if the, the 9 to 5 fun stays live. A little demo on the kickoff. Nush back in the lead. Game 5, everything you can hope for so far. Because he hates his fans, Sag. Oh, uh, that's not how I would put it. Nush, I think, slightly worried that Killiers is creeping up there. Felt the need to double jump and send it away. Backflip challenge was a bit telegraphed. But still makes contact. Nush, really far touch off the sidewall, bringing that ball to center field. Making Killiers' ceiling challenge really have to work for it. And he was able to reset 
in the opposite corner, but that one's not going to work either. Kilir's defense looking solid. Nush is rushing a lot. He's showing a lot of respect for Kilir's and his speed. He seems to be worried that Kilir's is going to be diving on ball at every possible moment, leading him to rushing his offensive possessions a little bit. This time, he's finally recognized that Kilir's is faking a ton. Like, right there, I feel like earlier, Nush was freaking out, popping the ball, hitting it quick, trying to get it around Kilir's. That time, he was a little bit more stone cold, recognized that Kilir's was not ever challenging, just close shadowing. But still didn't pay off. Kilir's gets a save, and, and Nush has been doing this a ton, transitioning to the back wall to play defense up above the crossbar. And... Kilir's, who had never really brought the ball in the air, says, okay, I'll just keep it on the ground, and I'll power slide cut it. It's going to be really hard for you to make that save. Transitioning off the back wall. This 50 is going to work again. Rizzo! They give the raid of 156 million viewers. Excited for the chalk cast tonight. Nush loves his backflip challenges. This one seemed like a mistake. Kilir's going to follow it up with a kickoff goal. I don't think we've seen more than a two-goal difference in this game five yet. We'll need Nush to pick it up to try and bring that back. The chalk cast <coughs> round table is in two and a half, two and a half, two hours and 15 minutes, I think. Pretty much right after the salt mine stuff. Killiers take away. Three goal lead with a minute 36 left to go. Nush trying to get Mechie doesn't pay off. The red kickoff goal for Nush. Is it going to happen? It is. AJ. Thank you for the raid. The 207 million view raid was today. Uh, did you play more games against Musty? Was this another 10 games against Musty today? 30 and 0. 30 and 0. AJ holding it down so far. Ush. Fake in here. Got Killiers to completely lead now. I have to watch this again from Killiers POV. Uh, Killiers tried to fake Nush off, I think. He just thought if I approach the ball here, Nush leaves or something, but not touching the ball. Doesn't seem like the play. Musty has no chance. Can AJ get the 100 0? It's daily dosage with the raid of 1 million viewers. Can we get W raid in the chat? Three humongous raids, all of equal value coming into the stream here while Nush tries to see if he can tie this up and give the fans what they came for some premium high octane content with no octanes on the field but Kaliers has possession now with 42 seconds left to go the flick sent into the backboard wave dash recovery still Nush doesn't feel like it's worth the risk and Kaliers will send it past him so now it needs to be two kickoff goals for Mr. Nush in the final moments Killeer's great patience, threatening the hook shot once, waiting until Nush has to hit the brakes and then taking the shot. So he can't make the save with momentum. Nush wins this race to the boost. This could very realistically be a quick goal for Nush, who's going to go to the ground. Flick. Killeer's actually got a touch on the ball. Nush seemed like a bit panicky. That was a low to the ground, rushed flick. And with Killeer's in control, that should be the game. Wait, he throws it directly into the ceiling, and Nush is there. Nush has pre-jumped it. And you know he's feeling somewhat comfortable because he pogos this finish. He knew exactly where Killiers was going, and now he's got 10 seconds to tie the game. Will he go delay kickoff? Will he cheese at all, or will he just try and win a standard? He's going to go delay wave dash. He's going to try and race to the midfield 100. He's going to win that race. Killiers puts it into the back corner. As if he gets a demo, he could probably get it. He did not get the demo. Backflip shot is in! The zero second wonder from Nush. 
as he wins the kickoff and bumps Killeers off the back wall. Killeers was so hesitant. He could have dove. He could have turned the brain off, I feel like, and just flip at the ball and he would have been fine. But instead, he didn't want to over panic and he stays ground while Nush backflips it in. We've got OT game five, Nush and Killeers. This kickoff into the back corner of Killeers. He's going to get the first shot. It's a power shot. It's not in. Nush misses the first save. But he's correctly misses it. He would have owned gold it if he had touched it. He instead lets the ball bounce off and get the follow-up. Dunk with Killeers out to the midfield. Killeers forced into the air by Nush's threat. And now they're going to pinch it to clear it away. It's going to fall in front of net, but Killeers no boost to follow up. So not an issue. Nush, the man with the montage, takes to the skies. Killeers convinces him to pinch it off the ceiling by threatening the ceiling challenge. And there's another backflip challenge from Nush. We've seen a lot of that in this series. Killeers wants to take this ball back to his corner. Nush wanted to demo him, but he was able to dodge it as Nush sends it to the opposite wall. Killeers dropping a 50. Nush needs to recover. He's going to be on low boost. He's just trying to break up the play early, and he has convinced Killeers to get rid of the ball. Nush survives the demo attempt. Now he's going to have a solid possession. He'll take to the skies because he is Nush after all. Looking for an air dribble. Wants maybe a bumper top right. It's in! Nush has done it! He clutches up at zero seconds, and he wins it with an air dribble into the top right. He's been resetting all day. This time, no resets. He knows Killeers is expecting that, and he just puts it out in front of him. And a minute and six into OT, Nush will advance to the next round.